One of the most common problems in Excel is forcing Excel to recognize a date, especially when it's in a style that's not what your computer is expecting. So here we've got some dates. Now, if we highlight a group of dates, if they are proper valid Excel dates, it should actually give me a sum and some counts and average. Even though it's meaningless, it'll show it to you here. These aren't dates, because you'll see there's a little apostrophe in front there. You'll notice as well, we've got one going this way, day, month, year, and another one go that going the other way, year, month, day. So the reason I want to show that is there's a function in Excel called date value, which forces, within reason, a date to become a date. So let's go, I'm going to go to my date and time, and you'll see it says date value, and all you need to do is point it at the cell. When I say OK, you'll see in this case it's given me a value. So for some reason, it's looking there and saying, no, that's still not a date. Now just to show you why that is, on my computer, if I rather pointed at that one, now that one is converted to a date. So here you'll see it doesn't add up. Here it's adding up. So this date value function needs it to be pretty close to a valid date on your computer, so my computer wants year, month, day, not day, month, year, for it to work. So that's great, you can try that first, but you often get vastly different dates. Dates like this, where it's month, day, year, or it's written in one s string of numbers, or there's full stops in between. So how do we now convert those into valid dates? So the first option is to use flash fill. So you'll see next to this list of strange dates according to Excel. I can just go here and I'm going to try to type 25 December 2009. Click enter. So that's the way I want it to look. I can now highlight that. I'm going to go to data flash fill or else control E. And you'll see it's clever enough to recognize that given what it saw here, you typed a date, a valid date. So then it's gone and worked out what these dates should be. So flash fill is the first option. Another way to do it is to actually make use of a tool you may already know about, but there's one aspect of it that's a little bit different. So for example, I've got these dates. If you look here, you can see that I can see it's a date, 1st of September 2011, but the problem is the way Excel works is if I try and format this as a date, you'll see it has lots of hashes. And the reason it's doing this is because remember a date is a number. So this number over here, if we look at it, is about 40,000. So what this is saying is what is the date 20 million days from the 1st of January 1900, which is obviously a very big number and hence all the hashes. But that's not what we mean. So I'm just going to highlight that. And under data, you've got a tool called text to columns. Now you can use it in various ways. And we could split it into separate columns, but I want to show you a different feature of it. So I'm just going to say next. We're not really going to split it. I don't care about this. I'm going to say next. And this is very important. What we've now got is what type of data are you giving Excel? And we're going to say it's date data. But what's very important is this thing here. This is not asking you what you want to see. It's not saying, would you like to see the date as year, month, day? What it's actually saying is, what have you given me? And it looks like this is correct. If you look at it, it's going year, month, day. I'm going to choose year, month, day, but you have all the other options. And when I click Finish, you'll see it converts it, and immediately these are valid Excel dates. So for example, let's go to this one here. So now we're going to go and change this one. And again, on my computer, it doesn't recognize it. So let's go text to columns again. We're going to ignore the first bits. We're going to tell it it's a date. And in this case, it looks like it's month, day, year. So let's go find MDY. When I click Finish, it converts it into a valid Excel date. Once it's in this format, then you're not forced to keep this format. Remember, you can do whatever format you want once it's a Excel date. Before that, however, you can't. Just to show you this one here as well. So these have got full stops in it. So again, we're going to go text to columns, 
ignore the first, although we could have split it by the full stops. So ignore the first two, tell it it's a date, and it looks like it's year, month, day, year, month, day. I click finish, and it converts it for us automatically. Given all of these items, we've now given you three tools that can help you with converting dates. Just keep in mind that you can also use formulas. So if you have a date that's not a valid date, so for example this one, what you could do is use your text functions. So you could use a left, right, mid to split out the numbers. So take the first two as the day, next two as the month, next four as the year, and then use the date function to join them all together again. So depending on what you want to end up with, you can use either the tools, the formulas, or even going to the text formulas. But the most important thing is to understand what are you looking at? Is it a valid Excel date? Because that'll decide what tool you need to use.